Hello everyone, this is live, and I'm playing Splatoon 2's DLC, which is that of the Octo expansion, and look how much I've unlocked, look, look how fucking good I am, just look, take it in folks, this is my skill, this is my skill, 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 uh, we'll do, we'll do, um, we'll do, we'll do this one, this will do, yeah, okay, this is cool. This is one of those guide the eight ball. So you have a few of these. Well, I haven't finished it, so I don't know how many more there are. But so far, I've had a few of these where you have to guide this eight ball um, by shooting it into the certain goal. And it kind of acts like a pinball game that you play. And it's got like a mixture of Super Monkey Ball gameplays uh, to it. It's just it's just pretty cool. Uh, this is just one of the, the uh, little modes, uh, levels, I guess, level designs, um, and so for the, uh, no, please don't, uh, please, uh, move, what am I saying? Uh, so far the levels are pretty creative and challenging, oh my god, they are, they are very hard. Um, so basically, uh, as you complete the levels, you earn these points, which allow you to do more levels oh for fuck's sake without these points that you get from completed levels you can't do more levels so you might have to go back to a level that you're good at to earn more points in order to progress to whatever level you're up to in the expansion pack you're gonna believe me some of the levels are very creative i'll show you another one after this uh that uh that that i quite like so oops what am i doing um, Arita. So, uh, on this one, what you have to do is dodge the missiles while you get to the goal. And the reason why I thought this was pretty cool and a unique little surprise, I love when Nintendo does these little details, uh, like, look, look at the backgrounds, all these GameCubes around, are floating, oh my god. <laughs> just fan service, Nintendo. Thank you, Nintendo. Um, I just, I don't see that much coming from, like, PlayStation and, and, and I can't say Microsoft because they haven't really been around as long as Nintendo and PlayStation. But I would expect by now PlayStation would be doing this sort of stuff with their exclusives. Like, like um, I guess they kind of do. But, like, showing the original PlayStations floating in the background or, or something like that. I don't know, do they? Answer me in the comments below. Are there, are there any games that have that sort of fan service from PlayStation? I don't know. As far as I know, Nintendo are the only ones that do it. Um, and I love them for it. I just love them because it just it's got the whole world for me. I love you, Nintendo. Um, they don't care about me. They don't know I exist. Don't expect me to uh, complete any of these levels, by the way. I'm just showing you a bit of the expansion pack. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not actually... They're giving you top-notch gameplay here. Uh, I'm only showing you a couple of examples too. Like, don't think that it's just the same two style of gameplay over and over. It's actually quite unique, uh, some of the things it gets you to do um, so far. So, yeah, I recommend it. If you, if you haven't bought it yet, by the way. Um, which you probably have if you're a fan of Splatoon 2. Don't have to. Don't need me to say buy it. Is that? Yeah, yeah. I think you get the point in this one. Oh well, that's the GameCube one that I want to show you. All right. Defeat all the enemies before the time runs out. Let's give this a go for a couple of rounds, because I know I'm gonna fail. By a couple of rounds, I mean 10, 11, 15. A lot. Okay. We'll do that one. Okay. Oh yes, this one. Ah. Oh. So I have to use this uh, charger to kill all the enemies basically um, and they're all going around a circle seat and I have to freaking defeat all of them before the time runs out and it's a lot dif more difficult than it seems like it seems oh that's a simple premise Dave it is a simple premise but uh, challenge challenge yeah challenge which I like I like seeing Nintendo give us challenge it's like back in the old days when they gave a shit, you know, now they give a shit again. Hey, motorcycle guy, what's up? Um, if you didn't know, motorcycle guy is a regular occurrence in my streams and some of my let's plays. He just likes to do circles around my suburb and past my house whenever I'm recording. 
goes, oh, David's recording. I'm going for a ride. He always listens to that same song. For some reason. I, I don't know why. Okay, um, it's difficult to concentrate on this while talking. Um, so I'm going to do even more badly than I would usually if I wasn't doing a recording of this. Oh, God, this is difficult. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I don't have faith at all. I don't keep the faith on bon Jovi. Oh, shit. That's not going to help, is it? Ah. God, why are they octopi with sunglasses on? Let's not ask why this Nintendo. Because Nintendo do what they fucking want, don't they? They're pretty much the punk. Nintendo are the punk rock musicians of the game developers, I'm pretty sure. They're, they're the sex pistols there. Yeah. I am the Antichrist! That's fucking Shigeru Miyamoto on the fucking streets of London. This is difficult. Oh my. Uh, yeah. And let's end this episode there. Woohoo! Woo, woo, woo! Ba -da 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 -da. Okay. Well, we'll see you next time. Bye, 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 bye.